welcome one and all to a bottle killing review of Ron Zacapa 23 year Sistema Solera Guatemalan rum. I am the devilishly handsome outlaw himself, your king of extreme, Phil KOE, joined by my indomitable broadcast partners in inebriation. The one, the only, Blade. And the one, the only, Tony fucking G likes your subscribe. Here we are to do the bottle killing of this Ron Zacapa 23 Guatemalan rum. Now, the reason why this one's kind of special to you and me, T, is this was actually the bottle that you and I, I'd say we got it down to about here, the night you told me you were going to have another child. That's right. Number four. I You're having a fourth? Yes, I am. Possibly yes. fifth. No, don't even. Possibly fifth. Don't put that voodoo on me. Don't do that. You did it once. You can I, do it twice. I was, I was basically. I believe in you. I was basically one <laughs> one foot out the door that night. I was like, let's let's just try this, and we tried it. And we enjoyed it so much. I'm like, all right, Phil, let's let's get deep and talk about feelings and such. And we did. And I told him about that. And yeah, we enjoyed this bottle a lot, and I am. Quite eager to see if it meets back to those lofty expectations. Yes. You said this is a Guatemalan so, rum, correct? Yes. Now, gentlemen, consider this bottle killed. It is it's gone. Here, let's just I'm gonna tip it. I'm going to tip it. You go ahead. This is a Guatemalan rum. Yes. Uh, the reason I picked it up initially is my daughter is part Guatemalan. So I was trying to find a spirit that would, you know, have something to do with that. And what's interesting is this little weave here is actually weaved by women who are actually descended from the Mayans, from a village of folks who are descended from the Mayans. And this weave is actually the Mayan symbol for harmony of space and time. So I just found that really interesting that you're kind of, and also this is from pure pressed cane sugar. It's not from distilled molasses. And the entire process takes place on a mountain where they try to keep it about 67 degrees. So, very specific. Yeah. And so they even recommend if you chill it, to chill it to 67 degrees and really not much. It's, more. It smells really nice. And yeah, the, the, the sweetness is very specific. Oh, yeah. I, I really like it. What do you make of it, sir? First taste. Well, I did. I just uh, did a quick. L let me get a full taste. I uh, <laughs> well, I think it's time. I mean, it's going to smell like sweetness and sugar. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, that's good stuff. Oh, that's very nice. That's very nice. So these are the things that pirates rummaged for. Was <laughs> this rum stuff like this? Yes, yeah. pirates, the British Royal Navy. Video about that coming up soon. It, this oh, is what yeah. they wanted. Yeah. This what this is exactly what they wanted. It it there's there's no rum that I've ever tasted that compares to this. Yeah, this and the fact that it has something personal to you makes it even this that is much better. Standalone yep. rum, in my opinion. I yeah, this is yeah. very good. I picked it out for that one reason, uh, and then Tony and I just again, Tony and I had a heart to heart. He's telling me he's having another kid. It's one of those big chapters in his life. Thank you. Thank you. Indeed. And it just, so in that way, the Ron Zacapa Guatemalan rum will always kind of have a special place for me and T. Sure. Um, yeah. Fascinating stuff. So let's grade this on as a rum, as a cascade spirit, and then shelve it. So as a rum, all the rums you've ever had. As a rum, uh, I typically think of mixers when mm -hmm. I think rum. I don't. I don't think of a lot of neat or on the rocks drinks when I'm thinking of rum. So this one's specific and it's it's special in that regard. Um, I'll give it a. I'm gonna give it a three point seven. I might even give it a four on a rum scale because it's so it's so smooth as a rum that you you don't have to mix this. This is perfectly good neat. It's perfectly smooth. There's no bite. There's no lingering alcohol flavoring. You can drink this neat and be perfectly happy with it. So I, I think this is a four-star rum. Hmm. Well, I'm backing up everything you just said 
that's what throws me off to why didn't you give it a five? Because most rums, you have to put a mixer in it. And you know, that are, is a solid point. Rums are normally a mixer. So I'm giving it – I feel like I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a KOE. I'm gonna go a six, six stars as a I'm, rum. You've convinced God me. Damn. You've convinced me. This is, this is a four and a half star rum. You're and right. You don't have to mix it. You're right. I you thought it. I was gonna be a little too um, generous at giving it five stars as a rum, but nope, nope. He's uh, he's surpassed at giving it six. Because this is a great rum. Yeah. You can sip it neat. I have mixed it. Guess what? It's delicious. Freaking amazing. Like, it doesn't really matter. You can mix it with fruit juice, with sodas, whatever. Well, it, all rums are amazing. But the fact that you can drink this. No, 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 no. That, that's, yeah. Well, if, if you want to get drunk, they're all amazing. But the, well, fact, that, the fact that you don't have to try with this one drunk. shows that they put the effort in. Yeah, you can, and they, they stayed tried and true to the tradition. And this is a Solera system, which is a little different. Uh, that's been active for twenty three years. Solera systems are they'll fill a barrel, and they'll keep it full, and they'll drain off like an eighth of it, and they'll bottle that, and they'll sell it, and they'll always keep refilling it. So there's always it's it's a it's a rotisserie. Yeah, and so it. there's some. There's some rums in here that are only like three to five years old, but then there's some that's 23 years old. And so that's a Solera system. It's a different way of achieving youth and age in a spirit. And I think they took really Yeah, they found off. a great blend. And they because, found a great system. Yeah, it's that great median between youthful yeah. and aged. So yeah, five stars of rum. Now, as a cask aged spirit, that's putting it up against a very – all the brandies, the cognacs, the rums, the reposado tequilas, See, the that's, whiskeys. That's tough. Like, you, you just described what we were just talking about, finding the blend between the youth and the age. Uh, they find such a nice uh, mixture of the two. And this is so smooth. It's very sweet. But, goodness, I, you, could do, you could do a lot with it. Like you said, I'm sure this is a great cocktail. I will give this a four. A four? Yeah. Okay. Blade. Oddly enough, it, this is the best room I've ever tasted. There you go. So, I, I know why the Pirates did what they did. $32. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Give me a case. Yeah, yeah. So, I know why the Pirates put them in the casks and then stole all the other casks. Because <laughs> if this was it... Then yes, I'm I'm going to storm your boat. This is delicious if for me, just for a rum. Uh, so as a cascade spirit, what would you give it? Oh well, it's at a seven. Oh, I'm going high. Okay. okay, I'm going high because he, he because it? because it's wow. because it's the smoothest rum I've ever had. It is. He he's not wrong though. No, it's incredibly smooth. There's um, no alcohol bite here. Whatsoever. So well, thanks thanks Blade. This is now. Thanks to your review, one of the highest ranked yeah. um, uh, spirits in ever KOE Nation history. Um, I'm gonna give it a four two five because you can cocktail it and drink it neat. Uh, but yep, 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 he's giving it seven. But like I said, to it's, thine own self, it, it, it's 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 a rum. It's a rum that I have not been privy on it rum is. that much, and the rums that I've tasted are not. You can, have, well. you can have somebody... But being a cast age, you think of rum, you think of pirates, you think of all the old age. You could have somebody come up to the bar and ask for a mixed shot of rum, and you could simply pour a shot of this, and they would never guess that it was not shaken up in a mixer. They would take this straight, have it smooth, and be quite satisfied. And that's exactly why I want to give it the seven. You know... Because it's... Did it's I know there. himself be true? He's got to be true. So... Shelving. Uh, let, let's go to you first. Uh, no, shelving. You said it was thirty-two dollars. On I want to buy a case and I want to show everybody that walks through my door. So it's going to be a high shelf, but it's going to be, hey, you're here until I get to my last bottle. You're not allowed to drink it. Okay. But it is still high shelf for me. Okay. All right. People that I enjoy. This one is going to be between the middle and top for me, just depending on the room. Uh, yeah. Which the fact that there's a rum. That could even yeah. potentially touch a top shelf. Tony, 
changed my mind. No, you're 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 absolutely you right. <laughs> this this would flutter between the top and the bottom if I needed to make room because it's a rum. You don't necessarily think top shelf, but if there was ever going to be a rum on the top shelf, right here. But it's a rum. It's now, a rum. Let me ask you. If would you? Well, I guess you already answered that. Would you? I already answered it. Yeah, you, he, he's going to try to find a case of it. It's not really that hard to find. No, you'll be able to get your hands on it. I, I guarantee it. Tony, this is one that I've kind of I've seen it a few places, and I just didn't pick it up, and I don't know why I haven't. I'm going to get another bottle of this. Right. Yeah, I, I got to have a bottle of this on hand. It's great at all times. Bill, would you get another bottle of this now that it's gone? Well, that solves that. Hey, is that anything? Oh, that's a... Yeah, there you have it, folks. Yeah, more rum. Yep, that's uh, that's that's how impressed I am with that stuff is uh, I made sure that I got another bottle and I always keep some on hand. Uh, it's... Yeah. It's basically... Um, and I'm going to say this without... <laughs> and I'm not saying this without any hyperbole. Ron Zacapa Solero 23 is the rum of extreme. Until we can find something else, yes, yes. Easy. I don't want to over here. Yes, I know. There's going to be a lot of fallout from this. This is like a nuclear bomb hitting the spirits world. Every distiller of rum the world over went, oh, shit. Bill KOE just declared the rum of extreme. We got to step our fucking game up. We got to, yes, we got to figure this shit out. I mean, Phil KOE is endorsing us. What shall we do? I'm Why sure that's been planted. Thank you. Thank you. So, Blade, anything you'd like to say to the folks at home? See y'all later. Tony G, anything you'd like to say to the folks at home? No, I'm good. Thank you. Well, folks. Thank you for joining us for this incredible spirits review and bottle killing. I am the devilishly handsome outlaw himself, your king of extreme, and as I'm known to say around here, all that being said, thank you for joining us, and please like, share, subscribe, and join us for all the crazy adventures coming up. Catch you later, folks.